To build a s'more flyer, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to log in. I think it's kind of funny because there's actually like a log there. I never would have thought of that. Or if it's your first time to the site, you'll click try it now and sign up without Facebook. But I already have an account, so... I've logged in, and I want to click on start a new flyer because that's what I'm here to do. Then since I'm in a class, I'll click on class here, but if you're doing something, maybe a historical event or creating a business for something, you could choose one of these other templates, but I like to just go with the one for class. So this program is completely intuitive. It'll walk you through the steps of everything you need to do. You're going to start by picking a title, um, unless you're wanting to do City Yoga Lessons as your project. You click in there, and you can rename it. Um, I'm going to rename mine um, Alternative Energy Sources. And for the subtitle, that's where I like to put my name. That way people know who made this beautiful flyer. And when you're done, you can click Done. Then you can begin editing the rest of the content boxes. Um, by hovering over it, you'll see that you can either edit what's here by adding in a title and text, or you can click on these side arrows to switch through the different um, layouts, like you can have the picture over here on the left and the content with the title and the text um, on the right, or you can get rid of the picture altogether, but this will just let you know kind of what options you have here. If you don't want it, you can completely get rid of it. Um, let's see, I'll go ahead and create this one by clicking on the box here. My title is going to be Solar and then I'll type in the information that I had researched about solar energy. And once I've typed all of it in, I'll go ahead and click Done. And you can see all of that has been added there. To add a picture, you can just click on this box here. And I find where I have my solar. Which one of these was solar? Um, this one. And it uploads my picture. And just like that, it's in there beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my content for the rest of these boxes. Um, you can see there are different types of content boxes. Um, this is like the one up above, but it didn't have a picture. You can add in just titles. If you want um, text going all the way across the top, you can have three pictures with captions underneath each one. Um, you can customize it any way you like. Again, if I didn't want this one with the three pictures, you just can remove it, or if I'm like, oh no, I want that one back, this little plus sign that shows up when you hover will let you add in different types of things like um, embedded links to other websites, or a title, or text, or the gallery is the one with the three pictures, so you can add in any type of content box um, with that green plus sign. Now that uh, we've added all of the content to our flyer. We can play around with customizing the design, the background, colors, and fonts. For design, you've got some choices here. Oh, this blossom one is new, um, but handwritten has, you know, a different font, and there's minimal, and modern, and vintage. Um, I think I'll go with blossom, since it's a new one I haven't seen before. You can also change this background here. There's all kinds of different ones, and for each different design, there will be different backgrounds. Let's go with, yeah, I like that one. All right, and the colors um, will default as well based on your design and your background, but if you really wanted to change those, you can change the background to whatever you like. Um, same goes with the fonts. You'll have a different set of fonts depending on which design you chose, but you can customize it all even though um, it will just automatically make everything look beautiful. So once you have done all of that, all you have to do is click Done Editing.
from here, if you decided you wanted to go back and make some changes, you could click on Edit Your Flyer. You can preview it, how other people will see it without all this junk up at the top. You could also choose to print it if you wanted to have a hard copy, but my favorite way to share this is from the link here. I would just copy this link and um, share it with my teacher, um, share it with friends, show off your, your gorgeous flyer. It really is that easy, so I want you to go ahead and get started making some awesome posters and flyers.